Shalom, beloved. A word. Time has passed. Many of us hear the messages of the coming destruction. We are seeing it play out. We are watching the end of this system. But as we watch the end, we're also watching the beginning. Many prophecies have not only gone out, but they are literally coming to pass before our eyes. But there is a beauty taking place at the same time. You see, he, Yahuwah, told us, see, I will create new heavens and a new earth. Many of us are watching the end of this old system, this old wretched, criminal, unholy, defiant system. But we are also watching the birth of a new one. We are witnessing our own redemption. And many times because Everyone is leaning towards the destruction. Everyone is leaning towards some of the negativity. A lot of us don't see how much love, how much glory, how much joy is breaking out all around us right now. Right now. The Most High tells us, see, I will create a new heaven and a new earth. If we look at the volcanic activity, be it over there in Spain, in the Canary Islands, in Hawaii, uh, volcanic action going on in the oceans, we can look at a before picture where the land was even and an after picture as this volcano erupts and spews lava, it's literally creating a mountain it's removing the old and creating the new. There is no amount of money. There is no military power that can stop the creation of what Yahuwah is doing. The removal of a criminal chaotic system and bringing in something beautiful. But many times in order to build up, you have to tear down. So as we watch the destruction, understand that that destruction is coming about with love in it, with love in it. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered. How so? There is coming a point, whether you look at the places being destroyed by fire, Nobody will come around and go, oh, I remember this. I remember that. He's removing it. There is a cleansing going on. It is not just going on physically. There is a spiritual cleansing going on. Many of us think because we get caught up in the world, we get caught up in our lives, circumstances, situations beyond our control, that we've fallen away, that somehow We've sinned and redemption is hard for us. Mm -mm. The most high is cleaning us. He's making us aware of ourselves, our habits, our thoughts, our actions. And even though we may not be what we're going to be, we're far better than what we were. Just the fact that we recognize it and we're striving to move forward for that mark of the high calling. We're striving to remain close to Yahuwah, to follow Yeshua HaMashiach, to honor and glorify him. We know we're in a blessing. There is so much love being poured out towards the chosen ones right now that instead of looking at the destruction with a heart full of fear and worry and trepidation about I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. How do we know? Because he told us so. I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come 
to mind. But be glad. Listen, be glad. Mm. And rejoice forever in what I will create. He's telling us. And somewhere our hearts should start getting happy in the midst of it. It's, it. Think about a prison that you've been in. And you couldn't get out because that's what this system is. And the prison's being destroyed all around you. Whoo, wait a minute now. They go another wall. They go a brick. Listen. Mm. We're in the book of Isaiah, chapter 65. We're at the 18th verse. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. He's doing it. He's tearing down the wall. Babylon. Mm. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. Mm, mm, mm. I will rejoice over Jerusalem and take delight in my people. The sound of weeping and crying will be heard in it no more. You see, we are watching the prison walls come down. The warden got nothing for the most high. Can't stop it. Can't figure it out. You can go to the moon and fly to the stars. It don't matter how much money you got. Whatever go up, you the most high going to bring it back down. They spending millions and billions throwing money away. Just to say, I went out in space. People hungry, starving, need all kinds of things. You're supposed to care because you want everybody to get bit by the snake and yell. Here's a madman spending billions, millions to take a little ride out into the heavens, if you will. Stepping past hungry men, hungry women, hungry children. Mm. Not concerned about justice. They don't know how to take that flight into the higher level of consciousness to raise their vibration. You understand, they need a mechanical engineer. But we have the most high. Yes, beloved, yes. And he tells us, be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. Let me tell you, let me tell you. See, some of us, according to the interpretations of the world, think we're poor. And that these so-called criminal, murderous people, these liars, these godless, unholy, lawless people are rich. No, 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 no. Hmm. Let's get a glimpse into what the Most High said. Hmm. Because thou sayest, I am rich, hmm. and increaseth with goods, and have need of nothing. And know it's not that thou art wretched. These people who think they sit so high, they are actually wretched. Mm, mm, mm. Wait a minute now. And miserable and poor and blind and naked. You see, when this life is over and they have to occupy that eternal dwelling when we are dressed in life, their judgment is coming. They've heaped up riches to testify against them before the Most High. They are not clothed in truth. They are clothed in crime and murder because they believe this life and this life only is the only life. But the Most High already told you, you know, for the last few days, he kept telling me they are wretched. They are wretched, Father. They're poor, poverty-stricken. I mean, knuckle-dragging, lacking in wisdom, understanding, revelation. That's what you're looking at. It doesn't matter what they have in a bank account, that rust and moth is going to corrode. That doesn't matter that they dress up the body in clothes when the spirit is criminal against the most high. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Woo. This is what he said, because thou sayest, they say, I'm rich. Mm. No, my love. No, no, no. We should take her. We should take 
joy right now. I started getting happy. You see, we don't have to rob and plunder and loot and lie to get our blessings because he's taking our consciousness to another level. We understand that he truly does supply all our needs. He does. There are people who have said things, done things, and I didn't want to be in their company. I just, I, my statement to the most I very recently was, I just don't want to be in their company. And they are still on this earth, but he removed them. I wasn't even looking for it. In my spirit, I'm just telling the most high. He knows what we need. There are things we want that we don't know where to go to get them, who to ask to find them. And somehow he brings it straight to us because he supplies it. It is a good and perfect gift. It can be the smile of a friend. It can be the fact that although many people told me they missed me, Many of you don't know, I missed you too. And I've been communing with the Most High. And he's like, what you said, what we've all said, it's activated in the atmosphere. You see, when we made in his image, our father said, and then there was. Understand the decree and declare. We have been decreeing and declaring and turn this world on its axis. Why? Because we are made in his image. No, not the way a physical person thinks, because our initial being is a spiritual being. All right. And we are dec decreeing and declaring the truth of his word. And it has gone out into the Miss fear. Let me tell you something, something right here, because I just want to talk. Plain. Oh, there's a climate change. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All the leaders of the world can talk about it all they want. But see, this climate change, although they think if they change their ways, they can correct the climate change. This isn't that kind of climate change. Mm -mm. There's a cleanup going on. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. As it is in heaven, so let it be in earth. As it is above, so let it be beneath. The armies of heaven are riding, beloved. They're cleaning up and they're mocking Yasharel. They are mocking the ones of the most high. We got that stamp. The angels of the Lord are gathered around us. Yes, beloved. Yes, this thing is ending. They, who are they? The criminals, those reprobates, okay, who have said conscious, who know the creator, but chose to dishonor the creator by honoring the creatures, knowing they grow old and die, knowing these are rusty, dusty old men, crabby old men and women who don't care about anybody. We've got people down in Tennessee taking beloved little children, locking them up. There's a female judge in Tennessee putting seven, eight, nine-year-old babies in jail because they're making money. And I decree and declare judgment has already gone out on her and every single one that has done it. The most high knows. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. You see those kind of people mm -hmm, mm -hmm, who say, I am rich and increased with goods mm -hmm. and have need of nothing. Whoo, come on now. They use children. Mm, mm, mm. Destructive, murderous people, people who are running around taking Hebrews and they're being found with organs missing. These People who say, I am rich, their riches is fetid. Mm. They say, I am increased with goods and have need of nothing. Woo. <laughs> Woo. Let me tell you now, they know not that they are wretched. They have stained their very souls. Mm -hmm. Heaven's got a record book. 
Yes, the angel's riding faster than the speed of light. He's got it all on record. And the Lord, he's responding to the putrid actions. The world sees it. He's uncovered their secret places. They are wretched and miserable and poor. They are blind and naked. They are not clothed with life. They are not clothed in the truth. They are not clothed with the Most High's blessing. But you, my beloved, take heart. Take heart. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to go back just for a minute. Mm. We're going to go to Isaiah 65, verse 18. But be glad and rejoice forever. Yes, yes. Woo. Listen, listen. Now we're going to jump over the book of James. I just got to say something before I go. Yes, book of James, chapter 2. We're starting at the fifth verse. Forgive me. Did I lose it somehow? Okay. I had it and somehow it turned to this. I'm just going to read it this way. Okay. Okay. Book of James, chapter two, starting at the fifth verse. Hearken, my beloved. Have not Yah chosen the poor of this world? Rich in faith. Yes. You are poor compared to the murderous rich ones. These criminals, Spiritual criminal. See, this thing, whew, listen now, this isn't just a earthly criminals we're talking about. No, no, no. These are spiritual criminals and their crimes, their evil acts have come before the most high. We could talk about the floods. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. See, he's not passing by rich houses. And yes, he's taking some away. We know two thirds are not going to make it. We know he's starting with us first. We know this. But you see, tornadoes, I mean record-breaking tornadoes in places that were never tornadoes. Sinkholes, floods, fires, earthquakes. We have decreed and declared we have spoke the truth. And just like the power of our father who created us, we are made in our great Yahuwah's image, our Adonai Elohim. And as our father does, we have done. And he has brought it to pass. The words did not fall to the ground. And this thing is turning up, turning up. The volume is turning higher and higher and higher, beloved. But you rejoice and be glad He's tearing down the prison walls The lock is broken The gates are open It doesn't matter If they want to bring in People that they consider their allies You see There's no military power I would love to see hmm, A tank Work it out And one of Yahoo's world wins When it hits I'd love to see the rocket launch when he hits the tornado and the hailstones and the floods and the winds and the fires, we got a father. Listen now. Whew. Touch not, but you see. Somebody decided I'm going to touch anyway. He can't see us or he sees everything. Rejoice, beloved. Let your vibrations go higher. Keep a positive mindset. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is the season of restoration Yes it is Even if Let me tell you Let me tell you They talking about food shortages And yes You will always do well To err on the side of caution But let me tell you Let me tell you If the well runs dry Or you think it's dry Due to something beyond your control See we got a creator Who creates Anything and everything we need. So don't you start stressing and worrying and fearing. Be glad and rejoice. That's what he told us. Now I'm finished. Book of James, chapter 2, starting at the fifth verse. Hearken, my beloved brethren, have not Yah chosen the poor of this world, rich in faith, and heirs of the kingdom which he have promised to them that love him? Okay, listen, hearken, listen, listen, hearken.
rocking, rocking. They hollering it from the heavens. This thing then broke down into it has pierced eternity. They are here. Okay. That decree has gone out. And it is in the now. There's nothing they can do. The world leaders may. I watched this corny news channel. It was so corny. Yes, I said corny. The world leaders have met. We've decided to do something about climate change. Really? We'll go out there and stop the tornado. Plug up the volcano. You ain't nothing but a man. And you never cared until it got away from you. And you knew it was getting away from you. But as long as you lined your pockets and figured you could scamper off to your place called safe, you was going to turn the blind eye. Problem is, you don't know where it's coming. So now everybody, everybody, come on. We got to do something. Now it's a little too late. There is a climate change. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There's a shift in the atmosphere. Yes, it is. There's a shift in the atmosphere. Must fit, but see, this climate change is Elohim at an eye. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All praise, all glory, all honor to the most high living Yah. Let thy word, thy spirit, thy truth go forth. Have mercy, we pray thee, Father, upon us. Release us from this land of captivity, Father. Release us from this people who do not honor Yah nor man, release us and take us home. Their judgment has come. Have mercy, Father, and bring us home. Let us out the prison. Walls are breaking down. There's a tornado on that corner. There's a flood coming through the window. There's a volcano breaking out over there. And there's a fire tearing up the wooden room. He's in the house, my love. The most high's in the house. The prison of Babylon is falling. Rejoice. Wait a minute. I got to finish this thing. You know, and he's supplying all our needs. We with all that we have, and we do have a lot, beloved. Yes, we do. First and foremost, we have Yahuwah HaMashiach. We have his word, Yeshua HaMashiach. We have Yahuwah, our father. He done put on his war garments. Yes, he did. We got the Lord of South and he brought his angels in. Judgment's gone out, and it will not be sin. It's going to do exactly what he said it was going to do. Boy, we hit that 400 years and all hell breaking loose and they ain't seen nothing yet. We going home. We going home. Be it in the body or in the spirit, we going home. Okay. Rejoice, beloved. We are supposed to be preparing to leave. First way we prepare is mentally and spiritually. We don't know the day or the hour. We do not, but we know it's coming. All hell's breaking loose. The house is coming down. What house? The house of Babylon. Hmm. And now it's other people that's coming in. Well, we'll take control of them. You better be careful. He already gave the world the warning. Touch not mine anointed. Do my prophets no harm. But they don't want to listen. And the tornadoes keep breaking out. And the fires keep raging. Now the volcanoes are like, we in it too. We in it too. Between the fire, the flood, the tornado, the drought, the water, the rain, the, mm -hmm. the prison. The locks are already off. The doors take a good look out the window. Rejoice. Wait a minute. Hmm. I'm going to finish. See, they are wretched. That's what Yahuwah told me. I'm in the bathroom the last couple of days. Like, they're wretched. Can't you see it? They think they're rich. They are poor. They think they see all and they are blind. Woo, woo, woo. Oh, there's a climate change. There's a climate change. Mm -hmm. Every knee is going to bow. Yes, they will. Wait a minute now. All knees, they going to bow. And their tongue, they going to confess. Yes, they will. Because, see, right now, they want to tell a lie and try to perpetuate it. Well, all the leaders of the world, so what? Well, those who had power are the reason the world is going through all this crap, all this evil. They have created a spiritual imbalance. Okay, the, 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 the universe is like, pause. We had enough of all your nonsense. We had enough. It's just mean, evil, hateful, greedy for no reason and just don't know right. See, mm -mm, mm -mm. now you want to holler help? No, it's your turn. 
It's your turn. Mm-hmm. Your riches won't save you. Nope. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Because they don't understand what true riches are. They don't understand. See, this is Yahoo talking. I will create new heavens and a new earth. I think he started. What you think? Matter of fact, I know he did. He didn't start. He flooding out some of this, just too dirty. Wash it out. Wash it out. See, he don't do it our way. Remember, his thoughts ain't like our thoughts. His ways are not like our ways. So if you look at me and go, you rejoicing over it, I'm rejoicing. He tearing Babylon up worldwide. Yes, I am. Mm-hmm. I'm look, stealing children. Down there in Tennessee, you got a woman, she's advertised. They, I think they said they got over 4,300 beds taking Hebrews, hmm. seven and eight years old out of elementary schools. And that's just one place, beloved. That's just one place. Young men, young women being found dead. Nobody knows how, but their organs and eyes are missing. No, 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 no. All these untold, unknown, unsolved murders. Let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters aren't killing each other as much as you think they are. Mm -hmm. You got an enemy that crept in and shooting bullets and saying they was that one shooting that when they lying. Remember, uh, who they daddy? Who they daddy? So if they lie, that's the nature. If you kill, hmm, have you done that before? And now you're still in these people's organs, these young people's organs. If you can't steal their organs, you're locking them up to make a dollar. They make money putting seven, eight, nine-year-old babies in jail, especially down there in Tennessee. But that's not the only place. But right now you got a judge, this female judge, she locking people's babies up. Let me tell you, you think them storms is going to stop? This thing is going exponential. He's tearing down this prison called Babylon. That judgment has gone forth. But us, my love, whoa, wait a minute, don't get sad. Mm -mm. This ain't sad time. This ain't fear time. And it sure ain't time to worry. No, it ain't. We're going to trust in the Lord with all our heart. We're not going to lean on our own understanding. I can't figure all this out, can you? Hmm. But in all our ways. We're going to acknowledge him. And here's what he told us to do as he directs our path. He told us, wait a minute now, but be glad and rejoice forever. Wait a minute. Not just now, Lord. Uh -uh. Wait a minute now. Now he's creating. See, I will create new heavens and a new earth. The former things will not be remembered, nor will they come to mind. Yes, I like to forget this crap. I, look, please, I don't need an instant replay. No, no rewind button. Uh -uh. The Lord is keeping it in his chambers. It's written in the eternal books. He knows all about it. He also knows it's a burden just recognizing all of this instead of people being able to eat and lay down in peace and not worry when you didn't do anything wrong nor plan to do any wrong. And yet here come evil portraying itself as good. Uh -uh, uh -uh, uh -uh. To finish, but be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. Be glad. See, the prison's coming down. Yes, it is. This is not our home. We sojourners. We sojourners. Whew. Let me finish. But be glad and rejoice forever in what I will create. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight. Yes, yes. What? What? We leave in Babylon going to Jerusalem? Yes, my love, the Jerusalem Yahuwah sends us to. Wait a minute. Mm, mm, mm. Woo! For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight. And it's people, mm -hmm. it's going to be a joy to be around you. I hope it's a joy to be around me. I don't want to be remembering all this stuff that had me stressed and freaked out, worried and uh, moody. Do you? Mm -hmm. Let's tell the whole story. For I will create Jerusalem to be a delight and its people a joy. Mm, mm, mm. I will rejoice over Jerusalem. Who's talking to the Lord? He going to be rejoicing too. Yes, he will. And take delight in my people. Yes, yes, yes. The sound of weeping and crying will be heard in it no more. So beloved, be glad, rejoice. The prison house of Babylon, 
They got holes in the walls. The foundation's crumbling. I think that window over there is on fire. Mm -hmm. There's a volcano breaking out on the west wing. There's a tornado going towards the east wing. And the most high is over the whole thing. Yes, beloved, before I go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. be glad and rejoice. Shalom, beloved. All praise, all honor to Yahuwah. In the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach, as we give honor to the Ruach Kakadesh. For we know from whence all our blessings and joy cometh, it cometh from the Lord. Glory unto thee, Father. Thank you for this day and forevermore. May we honor and praise you always. Amen. A word, beloved. Shalom.